It's time to move beyond deterrence and to begin honest negotiations around disarmament. Nuclear weapons do not make the planet safer. They make, they make it an infinitely more dangerous place to be. And indeed, the Australian Labor Party has made a commitment that when Labor was in government, it would sign the treaty. And now Labor is in government and we're calling upon it to honour our history as well as our future and sign the treaty. Australia under Labor is actually shifting towards nuclear powered submarines. Is that a slippery slope to nuclear weapons? Well, this is an opportunity, I think, for Australia to show that we have our own, uh, we have our own sovereignty to reassure uh, Australians and our neighbours in the region that AUKUS is not a uh, precursor to Australia hosting or acquiring or possessing nuclear weapons. What about the nuclear armed states, uh, countries like China and North Korea that uh, position nuclear weapons as defensive weapons? Are they likely yeah. to listen? Yeah, it's the failure of nuclear armed states to disarm uh, in accordance with their legal obligations on the, under the Non-Proliferation Treaty that has led to the need for the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. This is the first positive step in disarmament that has occurred for decades and uh, many non-nuclear weapon states see it as the, uh, as the only silver lining in an increasingly dangerous time for the planet. Uh, and as we're seeing in, in Ukraine, they're being used to intimidate and coerce, and that's why they need to be eliminated. Do you think the film Oppenheimer and, and the popularity of that film ha has made people think again about nuclear weapons? Absolutely, and I think the lesson is that uh, nuclear weapons were built by humans and they can be dismantled by humans. What Oppenheimer started, we have the opportunity to end.